Okay, some of the things that I've already done demos on, on YouTube, is a lizard. It's a diachroic lizard with a loop on it for a pendant piece. I've also done, uh, oops, diachroic pendant heart. Uh, okay, that's green exotic on the back with a light, a light blue dichro. Then we have a sea turtle that I've done. I'm thinking about redoing another sea turtle just using the dichro method so that uh, it has a little bit more sparkly glittery to it. Excuse my cold. It's, I'm just having one of those days. Uh, I would show you the green exotic stem that I did, but guess what? <laughs> it turns out I've already used it on something. <laughs> anyway, and the uh, the dichro strip, uh, actually, I still have that. That's right here. Uh, and it's basically something that I can make into just about anything I want. If you have any suggestions or comments about what you'd like to see that made into, give me a, a little bit of a Yelp. Also, um, let's see. I wanted to do something. Not sure what I want to do. Oh, I just did a demo on these icicles. And it's a little, just a little after Christmas. And I figured what better time to start on next year's pile of icicles for, for Christmas presents for other people than right now. And I'm, I'm going to have a goal of trying to do a dozen a, a month so that when Christmas rolls around, I'll have a few that I can sell and also give away if I want to. Uh, I think I am going to do a seahorse out of this dichro strip that I made. And let's do that right now. All right. Let there be light. Now, this is a little bit too short to be putting your fingers on and keeping warm in the flame. So I suggest, well, I made it short on purpose so that you could see the job being done in a quicker time dealing with, uh, you know, YouTube and all. Okay, here we go. Now, that's a good weld. I didn't want that to come off anytime soon. So that's where I put the two pieces together. Nice orange to orange. Maybe a little bumpy, but it'll stay together. Now, what I'm doing now is warming up the dichro because it was ice cold and you just saw me having it in my hands. You can put yours in the kiln and uh, let it warm up once it's on a punte so that all you have to do is just grab it out and play with it and put it back in the kiln. Most of the stuff I do is I let it uh, cool at the bench. That way I can check it over, make sure all my welds are good and stuff like that. And then I put it in the oven and anneal it. So, first of all, you got to have a shape or an image in your mind of what you want to do. And sometimes you can do a, follow that image and work it really, really well. And it comes out really, really nice. And then there are other days that you don't know what you really want to do, but you want to just play with it. And there are good days. That, there's days to do that too, because you come up with so many different ideas than what you had five minutes ago. That experimenting is a great thing. I believe in it full heartedly because a lot of my animals come out of some of those experiments. I've got some green exotic for the bumps that I'm going to do for the back of the, the seahorse. One, two, there'll be a lot of these, so I don't even count. And as I touch these to the, the piece, you will find 
and I'm not just touching it to it. I'm welding them in as I go, welding them in real well. That there are not any bumps and they can't break off at those spots later on. Very important to fuse your glass together if you're making a piece of art, not stick a couple of pieces of glass together that'll break apart in those spots later. Okay, there's the main back fin of this seahorse. I don't know if you can see the shape of it so far or not, but that is the uh, bottom of the seahorse. Next. This piece of glass we're going to use as a punte. Touch it to the bottom. And now, well, all right, graceful. Let's get this back together here. Touch the wrong spot at the right time, and what happens? Oops. There'll be days that you burn yourself, and I call those days of burn offerings. And then there'll be days that you'll cut yourself, and I call those days of blood sacrifice. It doesn't help that I'm a klutz to begin with. But I tell you, I produce some better product, quality product, knowing that it's going to survive through me. The customer gets a better product that way. Okay. It's all in the shape. You want about the consistency of taffy when you're pulling it. And I'm not really heating and pulling. I'm sort of heating in one spot and pulling in another. I call it feeding the glass so that you're constantly uh, it's kind of hard to explain it comes to you after time because and it helps you come out with smoother pulls on anything that you do to heat up the glass and just pull it it'll thin out real real quick and it will probably break at that one spot but if you heat it a little bit at a time and pull it out a little bit at a time, even straight pulls. Okay. Now, some more of those dots. Sealing in real well, welding together, not just touching together. Okay, now, in my case, I put an eye on both sides of my seahorse, even though it's a pendant and one side is usually uh, to the back side and you don't see it, sometimes pendants get flipped over. And gives it a chance to stay so that it still looks like a seahorse. See, that one looks like a nice black, dark pendant seahorse. And this one looks like a dichros, sparkly, glittery seahorse. Okay. Loop or bail. I pull it about halfway, make a question mark, go down to the bottom, heat it, seal it in well, and pull it up and touch it to the other one. And yes, it looks a little crappy at the moment, but that's where the magic of graphite rods come in. This one I got is basically a pencil without wood, a very thick, wide pencil, graphite rod. Sharpen it into a pencil point. It works out real well for reaming. Okay. One more thing to do is finish the back fin. After you've put all the bumps 
top and bottom. You can sort of see the middle fin. It's it's sort of just sticking out in the middle. <clears throat> and what I do very last is give it a little bit more detail, more like a fin, unlike a shark or whatever, just a little bit. And it goes above and around the, the other two bumps that you had next to it. And we have one seahorse dicro pendant. Ta-da! Thank you, and have a good day.